Hello. Um, so this this upcoming clip, I've been working with Sarah, who um, um, never been hypnotised before. This clip, we use a very hypnotic pen here. And the hypnotic pen, the process, we do a basic classic eye fixation, uh, championed by the great James Braid himself. Start off with an eye fixation, then move into a really nice, subtle, basic convincer, whereby I hand the pen over to her and, and, and embellish this idea of it being stuck in her hand. So we elicit the phenomena of it being stuck there. It's one of the basic techniques and processes that I use within uh, early stages of the hypnotherapy sessions within my consulting rooms because it gives people a good convincer, starts to show them what's expected of them. I find it much more effective and thorough than if we do um, uh, um, suggestibility tests of that kind, for example. I think it works really well. Have a good look. Have a look at the signs, the different things that you've noticed and you can visit my website to have a look at the transcript and me deciphering everything that we did throughout this session. Okay great, so Sarah what I'd like you to do, can you just have your, uh, get yourself nice and, nice and balanced and mm -hmm. symmetrical, ideally that's it, yeah yeah yeah. Um, 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 ideally what tends to happen throughout these processes is going to be that um, I want you nice and balanced and symmetrical at certain times um, you're going to be focusing and absorbed upon certain things that we're guiding you to be focused and absorbed in, yet the other stuff, ideally, and what we're hoping will happen is you'll have less, less spatial awareness of it because you're nice and you've got a good posture. Now, are you comfortable there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're feeling good and nice and comfortable. Now, okay, so what I'm going to do is, in a moment, I'm going to ask you just to look at the end of the pen. Uh, just to have a look at the end of the pen. And um, what I'd like you to do is just keep your head nice and still, but follow the end of the pen with your eyes. Okay, so your eyes are going to roll up a little bit. When we get to the stage where it feels like it's just a little bit of a strain to keep them in that position, just give me a nod to tell me, or just say yes, and I'm just going to hold it there, and then I'll begin the process. Okay, so it's going to be a tiny bit uncomfortable, just for a few moments. Okay, so just get your head so it's nice and balanced and comfortable, and you, you're in a comfortable posture. And then just have a look at the end of the pen, okay? So just focus on the end of the pen. Now, when it becomes very slightly uncomfortable for you to keep looking, just let me know, just say yes. Okay, so just focus on the end of the pen, absolutely. Place all your attention, all your energy, all your focus on there and start to imagine that your eyelids are becoming heavier. Yet keep your eyes open but start to imagine that they're coming heavier and start to imagine how great it's going to be when you allow them to close. Now when you're ready for us to begin this process and you're ready just to allow your eyelids to become nice and relaxed and comfortable and at ease, that's it. Start to notice that. Only when you're ready for us to begin, let your eyes close comfortably, naturally, and notice how enjoyably and easily they become nice and relaxed and comfortable, that's it. Notice how they want to do that. Just in your own time, that's it. Notice that little fluttery-like sensation that's going on there when they blink, that's it. In your own time, comfortably, good. Now just start to imagine drifting deeper down inside of your mind. Now you don't have to reach down into the deepest depths of your mind straight away. It's only natural that you drift as deep and as comfortable as seems right to you. But just start to notice that very basic, light, almost fluttery-like sensation happening in your eyelids from time to time. Just start to notice and focusing in all the time on the sound of my voice. Start to notice how your breathing changed just a little bit there. That's it. Just imagine reaching inside of your mind. Now in a moment, I'm just going to ask you to open your eyes. And when you open your eyes, you're just going to allow your mind to stay nice and receptive and just follow some basic instructions. I'm going to be handing you the pen, I'm going to show you how to hold it. And I'd just like you to hold the pen in the same way that I've shown. And you're just going to focus upon that. So just open your eyes for a moment, let your mind stay nice and receptive and comfortable. And what I'm going to do, are you right-handed or left-handed? You're right, okay, so in a moment you're just going to use your right hand, hold the pen out in front of you, between your fingers and your thumb, like it's pointing down slightly over your eye line, and just hold it out there and just focus on the end, okay, just with your right hand, that's it, good, nice and straight with the arm, that's it, good. Focus on the end of the pen, now as you look at the end of the pen, 
just start to say inside of your mind, with as much volition and as much meaning as you possibly can, I am going to drop this. Say it powerfully inside of your mind. And as you say that, start to imagine that your fingers are beginning to lock and stick comfortably and powerfully and profoundly in place. In fact, you start to find that your fingers lock and stick comfortably and easily. And this sensation begins to grow. Now, inside of your mind, say the words, I'm going to drop this, I'm going to drop this, with some real meaning, with some real verb. And start to notice that your fingers are locking, sticking, and comfortable. Now, when you are sure that it's locking tighter and comfortably and it's more locked, when you are sure that the pen is firmly locked and stuck and tight inside of your hand there, when you are sure, try to drop it and realize you can't. Try to drop it and notice you can't. Find that it becomes stuck. And the more you notice how stuck it is, the more it sticks, the more it locks tight, enjoyably so. Now you don't have to let it lock all the way, straight away, but notice how it starts to develop more. And the more you notice, the more tightly it gets stuck. Now, have you tried to let go? Yes. Good, good. Keep focusing inside of your mind. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop this and realize you can't. Good, good. And you've tried to? Yes. And it's stuck and it's there. Now I'm just going to take your hand and just start to relax nice and comfortably and loosely. Let me just take all the weight in your hand. Just allow it to burn. Let it sit down in your mouth. Then just take a slightly deeper breath. As you exhale, just allow your eyes to be comfortably closed for two moments. That's it. Good. Now inside of your mind, just begin to notice, just begin to think. That sort of flavour, that sort of sense that you've got happening inside of your mind now. I'm just going to count from one to five to bring this real basic exercise to an end. Will you notice the difference coming up and out in one, two, three, four, and five? With your eyes open, nice and easily and gently. Okay, not too challenging, eh, to begin with. Great, great.